things that sticks in my my head. I, I've watched my dad win a lot of races in a lot of different venues, a lot of different places all over the United States and Canada. Um, I think some of the things that stuck out in my mind, uh, I, I still see it as clear today as I did the day I saw it, and I was very young, uh, which was um, which was my dad racing extremely hard with a couple other drivers at uh, Orange County Fair Speedway in Middletown, New York, and uh, my dad was one of the guys, if not the guy, to beat a lot of nights up there. Uh, and I, he was racing hard with another guy. I can't remember. It might have been Will Cagle. It could have been Frankie Schneider. It could have been Gerald Chamberlain. Any of those big guys up there that he raced hard against. And my dad got down in the corner. This was a race for the lead. And mind you, my dad had no sponsorship. He's racing for a living. And he's racing to support a family. His only source of income was what the race car brought in. He got down in the corner, slid up into the guy, knocked him up to racetrack, and got by him. Going down the back straightaway, he slowed down, put his arm out the window, let the guy that he just passed go back by him. And he finished second that night because he refused to pass a guy running over him. And I've tried to do that in most cases in my life. Now, this last week or so may not be uh, uh, a byproduct of that, um, but uh, the, 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 what my dad always taught me was to um, was to uh, to be respectful of others and race guys the way you would want to be raced. But my dad is also on occasion put a guy or two firewall deep because they wouldn't leave them alone. Um, so there, there's, there's, a, there's a balancing act there, you know? So those are two things that I've seen for myself and I've never forgotten.